Hello, my name is Christopher Jimenez. I am the Web Services Librarian. I'm also one of the History Librarians here at Florida International University. Today I'm going to show you how to access the library's databases and some of the tricks you can use to navigate through the databases to find exactly what you need. Let's take a look. Okay, we're going to go to the website library.fiu.edu. Now the first thing you want to do when you come to the library homepage is log in. So I'm going to click on login for access. You can, uh, or you can uh, click on access from home here. They both lead you to the same thing. Basically, you're going to log in. I've already entered my credentials. Uh, so you're going to put in your email username and password and log in. It should redirect you right back to the library homepage. You'll see that the, uh, the URL has changed. It's library-fiu-edu dot easy proxy okay so now from here I'm gonna go directly to my A to Z list okay so we're gonna go to find and click on A to Z list this is an alphabetical listing of all of our databases as you scroll down you'll see once it loads up here that we have 1167 databases over a thousand databases here so that would take a while for you to click through and, and, and look at each and every one luckily we have this browse and filter feature uh, right here in the center, where you can uh, filter you via subject, type, and vendor. Just a quick note, if you know exactly which database you want to go to, you can click on the, uh, the letter that, that the database starts with, right, alphabetically, or you can type in your search here. So if you know you want to go to JSTOR, you just type in JSTOR here, or Historical Abstracts, or ITER, or whatever. Now as you scroll down, um, we're going to go we're going to use the browse and filter features here okay so um, we're going to click on all subjects and depending on your uh, subject of interest if your subject of interest happens to be history um, I, 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 I say that because um, history is so broad you could go into uh, the history of, of various different subjects so you may actually end up going into multiple different subjects here as you continue uh, conducting your research but I've clicked on history here are our experts, right? so-called experts, Christopher Jimenez, that's me, and George Pearson. If you wanted to get in touch with me, you can always click on my profile here. Right? You can see my guides, you can see there's an option to email me, you can get some help, um, and you can also meet with me. You can go through my, uh, my calendar and pick a day uh, to go ahead and meet with me, of course, virtually via Zoom. I'm going to go back and history here. We, you see we have 225 databases listed. Okay, our best bets are listed on the top. These are general databases that are basically good for all branches of history, right? Um, you know, whether it's America History and Life or uh, U.S. History, uh, Historical Abstracts, um, you'll see, you can read the description there, uh, JSTOR, U.S. History and Context, World History and Context. Um, but, of course, you can keep uh, browsing and see other um, databases that are commonly used or, or have some historical significance, right? Historical content. Um, <clears throat> you can further filter with a second filter, right? So you can use any one of these filters all alone, or you can combine them. So I'm going to go ahead and combine history, and I'm going to go into database types. You'll see that you ha we have a, a filter for archives and primary sources. Now, again, these are uh, databases that may contain archival or primary source materials, okay? Uh, so as you scroll down, you'll see um, it may be a mix of primary and secondary, sometimes even tertiary sources. But you know these uh, sources will have um, some primary source content. Okay, and we can filter by other elements as well. Biographical info, yeah, the, these are ebooks e and books, right? Um, you can look at government documents. These are you know resources that contain government material. Um, if you happen to need images, right, uh, media of any kind, you can you can filter by that. And of course, you'll see here that we have newspapers. Newspapers are, are quite big. Now, notice here um, there are 47 newspapers in history. Now, if I were to take this filter off, right, and just let, let all subjects go, that number jumps up to 76 databases with newspaper content. And we know newspapers um, might be quite important for certain types of historical research. So keep that in mind that you not, you don't necessarily need to to uh, filter by subject if um, if type is really the, the most important thing for your research purposes, okay? So you can see just kind of a, a small sampling of, of some of our 
uh, newspapers here. There is a third option. This this option is 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 by vendor. Um, it's not quite as helpful um, unless you know that you want to use the, the let's say news bank. If you if you know that that uh that interface really well, you plan to go in and and use the map feature. Let's say to 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 pinpoint exactly where the the newspaper you want is coming from. Then by all means, you can use that. Um, but for the most part, uh, students will find that. Uh, the subject and the type filters are probably the most uh, useful. So that's a really quick introduction to the A to Z list and finding databases that are relevant to your study of history. Again, if you have any questions, um, you can always contact me. Let me go ahead and, 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 and go back to my profile here. You can always come back and contact me and I will be more than happy uh, to set up a Zoom session uh, to talk to you about your research strategies.